This is Andy Purawaf, Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm John Boy, Carl Froch here in the immediate aftermath of Carl Brook's stoppage victory against Amir Khan. Carl, what did you make of their fight and Carl's stoppage win? I thought it was a real good performance by um, both fighters. Great fight, great to watch, great for the crowd, great for television. They both did themselves proud, but Khan got brooked up, absolutely brooked up. What was you making of a fight as he was progressing? It seemed to be that he was just cold from early on and he was only going to really head one way. Yeah, although, to be fair to Amir Khan, he stayed in there. After his legs turned to Bambi, he managed to stay in there for a round or two. And he, he looked like he was recovering and he was throwing fast combination punches, but it just looked like he was like stabbing in the dark, just shooting punches with no real thought behind him, punching for the sake of punching. And Kelbrook was quite poised, calculated, timing his shots nicely and um, every time he landed on the very Lynn of Amir Khan. Amir looked to be very tough tonight. Um, there were times when I think most people thought that at any moment he could have been stopped. What would you say was kind of a positive from his performance? No, no, no positives. Nothing. In Brooks' case, obviously. No, no, you, no, you, you say what you feel free to say what you want. No, I was joking then actually. Um, I've got to give him credit for staying in there. I feel like he could have pulled out two rounds in front, but it showed pride there. Because if he'd have pulled out, that'd have been bad. If he'd have got abused, if he'd have pulled. Out. Sorry, Carl. Keep um, This fight is one which people have wanted to see for many years now. Did it live up to your expectations? More than so. I, I didn't realise that the fight would have been that good, you know. Amir Khan stayed in there, even though he looked gone from round one. And Kelbrook was able to perform and put his shots together and show, show good counter-punching, show good timing. I don't like the fact that he's been called out now by Chris Eubank Jr. I don't, I don't think that's a wise move for him. I think this, is his, this should be his final fight, his swan song, crest of a wave. He's put that ghost to bed. The, the fight that should have happened years and years ago. He can now walk down the street, or put his head on the pillow, and talk to his kids, and just feel like I feel. You know, my kid came back from school the other day and says, oh, the, my friend Alex was showing me your fight against Groves at Wembley. And if it had been the other way around, and if that would have been my last fight and I was in Groves' position, I, how would that have felt? Amir Khan's got nothing to be ashamed of, though, to be fair, let's be honest. He, his legs were gone, yes. Um, he wasn't really in the fight. There was moments when he threw a few mindless, fast combinations, which didn't really do anything. Um, but give him his due. You know, he gave us an entertaining performance. He got shralicked again, another shralicking to add to his, his resume. And, he, you know, he did himself proud. He didn't, he didn't pull out. The referee had to jump in and save, save him from more punishment. So you've got to respect that. You've got to, you know, if, if you're the kind of person that don't mind taking a beating, like Amir Khan obviously doesn't mind getting walked and beat up. I, I, I don't want to get beat up myself and, and KO'd like he does. But to stay in the fight when you're in such bad nick, you've got to give him credit because, you know, he's turned me out of to him. <laughs> there was a lot of talk before the fight about a rematch clause. Carl, do you anticipate Amir might look into that or is it very much he should just leave it now? Is that a joke? That was a joke, wasn't it? That was one of them trick questions <laughs> where you ask the question where you know what the answer is going to be. Is that what that was? But no, people have been asking, you know, will he, will he look to maybe make good of a rematch clause? Do you think he would? That's definitely a joke. I might even answer that question. Is Amir Khan going to trigger a rematch? Okay, but after that. Actually, I'm not even but I listen, I don't know, but obviously we know him. He is a, was a very proud person. He's a very proud person, as is Cal. I can imagine tonight will have hurt him a lot. He might go away and still think if he was going back into camp and work on things, he could come back better. But again, this is just me putting a question out there. I see what you're saying and I see what you're doing there. And I, I understand the question. And I realise now that you're being serious, but I still can't answer it. It's no wrong. I don't expect him. No one, I don't expect the rematch clause to be made good of. But I was just asking you. Um, yeah, so Carl, just to end on that, any, any final words? Yeah, it's been a good night, hasn't it? Enjoyed it. Tasha Jonas, yeah. world champion. Stepped up, what, two, three weight divisions? Three. 
three weight divisions, and she got to perform in front of this amazing crowd. But all jokes aside, and people think I'm a hater, I'm not. Both fighters, and Amir Khan especially, he took licks tonight. He took a lot of punishment. His legs were gone, which means he was hurt. Something's not going on with the central nervous system when your legs go like that. And I'm glad that he managed to finish the fight on his feet. The referee saved him from further punishment. And he's had a fantastic career on Mikhail. Look at his CV, he's fought everybody. He's fought the best of the best. Yeah, he's been knocked out a couple of times, but give him his due. And the fight against Marcus Medina stands out to me in a fight where he was getting battered and he managed to hang in there and survive and stay in there, then get the win. He deserved to win as well. So I've got respect for him. I have a joke, I have a bit of tongue in cheek life. And he's giving me a stick and all. Yeah. yeah. I don't give a shit. <laughs> really genuinely don't. Life's about your health and your heart and your love and your family and those around you. Yeah. That's the most important thing, your health. So I think Amir Khan should retire. So I think he's putting himself at risk now. But he's had a fantastic career. Fair play to him. But tonight it's the end for him. He got one and truly broke up, like I've already said. Carl, I appreciate your time. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Pleasure. <laughs>